back again and today we are changing the sender unit over on the sub tank because it doesn't work properly so do you reckon it's going to be easy oh better find out we're better find out so we'll take you along no oh, it shouldn't be more than an hour hopefully <laughs> <laughs> famous last words yeah so yeah we're going to get into it and uh yeah we'll take you along and show you what's involved So torque is short stock. First of all, it's this bracket here. There's uh, three bolts either side. So that's the original wheel carrier for the, for the cruiser. Obviously I don't use it because I've got the wheel off the back now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna remove that. Yep, there's uh, just uh, three bolts on either side, not these ones that go vertically, there's ones horizontal. That's a bit, make it a bit easier to get off. Technically, that should come out. Yep, didn't think it will fall, fall out. It has been there for uh, probably since birth. So. Mm. No, shouldn't be anything else holding up, surely. Um, I reckon you might need a pry bar. Yeah, I reckon I do. Right. So a one. quick squeeze. You got one up here? Yep. We'll go to Big John. Yep. Thank you. Uh, can can't even get anywhere. Um. Nothing bolted through it, so it's not another. I'm thinking it could almost be something in the middle, but but what's it going to? Can't bolt to anything. The fuel tank's there. Don't want to puncture the uh, tank at the same time. So first, I'll be polite. I'll skip nicely. Technically here, should be one, two and three on either side <laughs> and it should drop down. But yeah, I'd say she's uh, wedged up in there between the rails. Yeah, I just can't feel anything on top, on top, so it's pretty much um, just trying I, to... I, I reckon it. if I get, get a bigger bar. Here, can we <laughs> can I move this? Can we come over this side and tap? After a bit of uh, persuasion. Yep, she's uh, she's out. With some uh, heavier tools, she so came out. She came out all right. So it looks like if you wanted to just get rid of that and retain the bracing, you could just undo these four bolts here and remove the actual mechanism out, which is a, probably a good idea for some sort of protection on your sub tank. Yep. Um, but yeah, as you can see, she's been up there a while, hasn't moved. So next thing on this 
is is that I don't know if we need to pull that I'll tell you if I need to pull that out so there's two bolts and two bolts that bracket will come out and will be a access to the tank which is strap bolt there strap bolt there and and that's it because everything else is hinged they just swing down so yeah, right. and then we need to look at uh, removing the filler on this side and the vent tube on this side maybe see how much room we have to get in there so. nice and easy yeah all right get back with you let me uh got this side of it done all right so sock here is uh unscrewing the hose clamp for the filler behind that is what looks like another vent tube uh, so we're going to back that one off too potentially i'm not sure if it's hooked up to it or not yet looks like it is and uh, then it'll just be a matter of dropping the tank down so uh, we're going to keep persisting with that and we'll be back when we're dropping the tank down and changing the center unit all righty so this is uh taking a bit of a turn as it usually does have to drop the rear section of the exhaust to get the tank out so uh, just doing that now and then we should be dropping it down um, fun times so yeah we had to do that and then we also had to go around here and there's the nut up. i found it oh thank you there we go and you also had to go around here and pull this back so we could drop the uh, pipe up from there and not from the tank end it was just yeah too difficult to try and uh, separate off the tank so that'll be a bit easier to get out tanks out i have to replace the sender which is here which is not accessible from within the, the uh, rear of the cruiser even with the drawers not in the way um, and yeah, there's just a whole bunch of dirt and crap up here so yeah we'll do that put the sender unit for here clean that all up so i don't get anything in the tank replace the sender and then i should have a working gauge so what we ended up doing is we uh disconnected the hose from up top there because it's too much to try and get this to break the seal same with this one um disconnect the send and return which looks a bit wet so i'm gonna have to just inspect that and have a look at it and uh should be good to go so not overly difficult um at least, yeah. I, at least I wasn't far off. Coming now to get it out. Oh, now to get it out. That's all right. So, you know, it's not a bad job. So, yeah, we're just going to give it a clean up yeah. now and hose her off before we do anything. So, yep. Yeah. yeah. That's Your it. thoughts? Thoughts? What do you reckon? Easy job? Yeah, pretty easy. Once you know what you're doing, yep. get stuff out of the way. Yeah, a little so. bit fiddly. Had to drop off the rear off, off the exhaust as well. So. Um, yeah, good times, good fun. That's it. Open doors and blow her off. That's it. That's it. The idea is here to crack all the screws. They all come undone. So, undo all these. That's it, like that, and uh, pull this out here. I'll give it a bit of a test. Come on, you that wants to come out. Okay, I'll just give that a little bit of a test on the vehicle in a sec and see if that functions properly. And yeah, just put the other one in and screw it all back down again pretty simple and yeah, just make sure the gas is clean before you bolt it all down all right so new sender unit's in actually does come with a new gasket didn't notice and uh that's the old one there so we're just going to give that a quick test so yeah it's all in old harness plugs into that that plugs into the car and it's kind of just putting it all back in and we're done this is a really simple job and much easier than the 90 series was when we did the long range tank install on it oh, oh yeah which you had to leave halfway through for yes yes yeah. i had family thing to do yeah so but uh, it seems uh seems a lot easier so far 
for sure. <laughs> so it was a bit damp up here, but I don't know, dude. It's so it's all up on. The only thing I can see is the hose where the hose connected. And maybe the hoses have a bit of a split in them, but I don't think they do. This one looks a bit wet, but it's not bent or anything. It's all, all alright, so. Yeah, right. Yeah. Alright. We're going to uh, test this one and then put it back in. All fitted. Discovered new screws in the box, so put them in now as well. And it's a matter of hooking that harness up to here, running it back through that, put the tank back in, and, and we're done. So, nice and easy. So, yeah, to get access into the uh, pipe up here, you didn't even take the mud flap off. Um, and that way, you can gain access from the outside here and tighten it up. And uh, done and done. So, there's that one there, and then you just got to slide that other little hose over. Uh, hey, he's already got the hose tamp on. Look at him. Look at him go. He's like Jack Rabbit, this guy. Aren't oh, you? yeah. Yeah. But yeah. actually, like this, like. Getting this out, you could probably do it at home with two people, not a problem, on the ground. Well, as long as it's empty. Yeah, as long as it's empty. Yeah, so, <laughs> so that's why uh, if it's not empty, on the diesel 80, or on, on the, even the petrol, you got a uh, drain block right there. Adjusting it. And then send it, Stephen. Yep. Okay. Final thoughts, sir. What do you reckon? Oh, it's pretty easy. Pretty well, pretty straightforward. Might be uh, covering a bit more dirt than that, but then I was uh, earlier. But you know, it's what you get when you work underneath a vehicle that's uh, mostly clean underneath. Yeah. When we pulled that tank out, as you'll see, it just yeah, just full of dirt on top. Yep. So. Um, yeah, all done now though, so I'll just chuck some fuel in it and I will report back and let you know if it's working correctly or not. Alright yeah. guys, have a good one, catch you in the next one. We've got a joke for you. You ready? God, mine's probably funnier. Why are chickens funny? Oh, that's my joke. Why is it? What, what is it? Because! <laughs> <laughs> Is that was that it? Yeah, that was one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty good.